that uh, protection from the sun. But coming up now is the recurve women's team bronze medal match, and what a lineup we have. The two European teams facing off for the bronze medal here. France and Spain came through the rankings fifth and sixth. But strong performances in the quarterfinals against Japan and Germany. 6-2 for both France and Spain. Saw them through to the semi-finals, but a dominant career beat France. And Italy pipped Spain to the post. So let's welcome the teams out on to the field of play. Damas y caballeros, por favor, démosle un cálido y bienvenida a los arqueros al escenario de competencia para el partido de la medalla de bronce. Leisurely stroll out in the sun down the red carpet on a Sunday morning. It's Spain, in la Lea Paca, Canales, Lucia, Mari, and Monica Galestia. España, Elia Canales, Monica Galiseo, Alicia Mari. Damas y caballeros, por favor, démosle una cálida bienvenida a las arqueras al escenario de competencia para el partido por la medalla de bronce. Well, Spain's opponents are France, Audrey Addition, Melanie Gobel, and Lisa Barbelli. En la faca número uno, representando a Francia, Udre, adición, Lisa Carpelli, Valerie Campbell. Well, Mackenzie, both of these teams are very relaxed, very smiley. Yeah, I think they're just out here to have fun, honestly. They both had pretty tough fights to get to this point so i think having a medal match is something that you should just have fun with and enjoy i think both of these teams are relatively young so i think you're going to notice more of the laughing fun high fives well i'm talking about high fives fist bumps all around for the french team and a little bit of a jiggle there as well dancing along to the music here in a country famous for its salsa dancing not quite sure we can call that salsa uh, shooting first for the bronze medal will be France on target one. Well, they use a set system in a recurve archery. Uh, the teams will shoot six arrows down the 70-meter range in two sets of three. So France have had their first three, scoring 23 out of one possible 30. Let's see how Spain responds. Good response from Spain. 
dropping just the three points. Mackenzie, initial thoughts on this one? Um, yeah, I, I think just like you said, the set point system is what we use in recurve, and I think it's very forgiving for this first end, uh, especially for France. They were kind of getting used to the field and, and a little bit of wind adjustments. And uh, the Spanish coach is actually giving giving their team a lot of information on, on some wind. So hopefully the, the French team can come back from their rocky start. Yeah, if after the first six arrows you have a higher score, you get two set points. If the score's a level, it's one apiece. Well, it looks like two groupings really for the French team, a 47 out of a possible 60. Target just a little over 1.2 meters wide, but uh, 70 meters is a really long way away from the shooting line. Yeah, just four, they'll take the first set for Spain. They've been shooting, expected to be a little bit more than four. So something to notice about the Spanish team is the last two archers in the rotation shoot a lot quicker shots. And like I mentioned yesterday, a quicker shot is definitely going to be stronger in the wind. We're going to be less blown around, and I think that it's really going to benefit the Spanish team to pick a spot to aim and execute a really quick shot. Well, they shot a couple of tens at Spain, uh, and there is the first one, and the second one almost in the uh, same spot. Yeah, absolutely, really, really good shooting from those two archers. And uh, I don't think it's too much of a surprise that uh, the Spanish team have got uh, quite a lot of local support here from uh, the Colombian contingent. So Spain leading the bronze medal match, two set points to a zero. The French trail, so they will start the second set. Still looking pretty relaxed. France takes the line in set two of the bronze medal match in the women's team recurve. It's a relatively clean slate for this French team, and they're only down by two points. It's an easy comeback if they put a few in the middle here. across there trying to uh, adjust that or call it, uh, yeah uh, the bow condo I think just trying to save the shot a little bit One left and one right, so clearly some communication going on between the athletes on the shooting line. So who goes to plan here? This one will be straight down the middle. Yeah, it's a 9-10 liner. Should be called a 10. Um, definitely a good comeback from Spain. I think they're just, again, figuring out the wind. It is gusting a little bit from the left side, which is different from what we had yesterday. So. 
Well, as you predicted, that uh, last arrow from Spain has been uh, given a little asterisk, which means we'll go to a measure at the conclusion of this set. Is Mackenzie, but they're certainly discussing things, they're certainly having a conversation the French and it's really crucial in team competitions not only to uh, uh, to talk about the wind but also my shot was a good shot or I made the mistake it wasn't the wind. Yeah and encouragement and just knowing where your team is aiming is really important uh, for wind drift but as well as like okay that wasn't great it will drift more so just do your own shot. Well 52 out of a uh, possible 60 Spain on for uh, 55, potentially 56 if they get a perfect score here. Another 9-10 liner, so we'll have two to really call for that judge down there. to take this set. Yeah, sure. ten, a ten, well, a nine may well be That's enough if that uh, third arrow is marked up, but a ten will certainly seal the deal. It's a nine, so we'll go to a measure for that third arrow from Spain. Uh, the score stands potentially at 3-1, but uh, maybe that's going to change. Yeah, we'll see what the, what the judge calls. Yeah. Well, let's have a listen. Okay. Target one, ten nine 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 eight seven. Okay. He's having a really good look at both the arrows. Okay, so it can be 10, 10, 9, 8, 8, 8. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 8. Okay, sorry. Well, it looks like that 9 is going to remain at a 9. Yeah, I just might have seen just a little bit out on that. It was actually the... They're actually flopped, so the one with the asterisk was a 10, and then the one with the 10 was a 9. Well, here are those two arrows. Flopped that one a 10, and this arrow a 9 just out. It's a really good shooting from Spain. Um, one thing you mentioned earlier was the, the swinging of the bow, and this might be something you see a lot more prevalent on recurve. Sunday, just because compounders are shooting such high poundage at such, such short distance, recurvers think that we can get a little bit of uh, movement from that arrow if you give it a little, a little bit, bit of, of correction. Um, yeah. Well, France uh, on the measure get their first set point. Uh, they're trailing, and they'll shoot first in the third set. No <laughs> Good grouping there from the French. Yeah, something interesting that I noticed about the French team is that all of them just barely touch their face with their string. They don't squish the string into their face, which is just an interesting thing looking at other people's form.
Spanish yeah. seem to really have the, uh, the vertical aim pretty good, pretty solid. Though. All the arrows seem to be in a, in a straight line. And it looks like Alicia has found her left and right that she wants. Yep, well they've both zoned in here. Level pegging halfway through the third set. It's funny with uh, Audrey's Boquando as she's pushing the arrow in the opposite direction of the 10. Uh, it might just be a little bit of a feeling thing um, at the last minute, but it still hits in the gold ring, which is where you want it. I just pulled that one right a bit. It's on the 7-8 line, so we'll get marked up to an 8. It's a good recovery there, uh, 55, but uh, this could be superseded. A possible 58 on for the Spaniards. They're going for a potential win here after three sets. That really is unfortunate for the Spain team, so we're going to go to a 3-3 tie here. Um, in team rounds, the points that you're going for is five set points to win. Um, when you get to a 4-4 tie on set points, that's when you would shoot a essentially a one-arrow shoot-off. So each athlete would shoot one arrow closest to the center. Sort of like a mini set. Yeah, a mini set. If you get to a tie. Uh, but that's six. That's what can see. So, means, uh, the Spaniards were out of reach of the French and the French draw level three apiece in this bronze medal match. I've got to say, the French had off a little there by that six. Yeah, they, they definitely got a handout from the Spanish team for that six. Um, yeah, we look at uh, the shots there in that end, and that six down to the right is uh, what paid the price for the Spanish team. So I think the, the Spanish team is just not being bold enough and staying on that left side of the, the target. The French team is, set, is on, as the golfers say, uh, the pro side, where you're on, on into the wind with your grouping. So I think... Uh, they're taking a little bit more risk by being over on that side, and it's benefiting for them a lot. And that is the uh, Telltale Six that uh, gave the French the opportunity to draw a level. Crowd getting right behind the Spaniards here, trying to G them on. One stray arrow can pay a big price for a team, but it's all level here as we go into the fourth set, France versus Spain. Team Rico. It's a long hold. But she gets a 10. That's, that's all that matters. If her team can, can handle that time pressure, if, it, if you get a 10, it's worth it. Really solid shooting to start off the second end, or sorry, the uh, fourth end. Well, this time the French have found the range on the uh, horizontal. Going fairly close to middle, just a little high of center. It's a good start for Spain. Needed as well. Good response from them. It's great 
team speak. Yep, absolutely. So both teams right now are looking to preferably win this set, but also I think both would be pretty okay with tying the set to go to a shoot off. Well, they've matched each other through the first half of the fourth set. Momentum looked like it was just starting to switch over to the French, but the Spaniards have responded very quickly. You can see the gusting conditions here. It all wins. Tells its own story. So the wind did look like it was gusting, but I don't think that it was pushing the arrows very much. So I think Audrey may have been aiming in the left eight, and that's consequently where it went. Well, the, the windsock is a, a vital piece of equipment on the, the archery range. The archers will look at it before every shot. Time ticking away here. Still a very solid shot going in. We're going to see how Spain responds. They need a 27, I believe, to take the set. Well, still possible here. Maximum of 56 with two tens would take the match for Spain. really needs a 10 here. If it's a 9, they will go to a shoot-off. Pressure on. Quick release, and that's dropped down into the 8. And France, having capitalized on a 6 from Spain in the third set, come from behind to take the bronze medal here in Medellin.